So you are a dancer of bachata or salsa or any other social dances out there and you already know how to lead and follow or you at least are learning a bit of both. And you really want to find out how to step up your game even more. In this video, I'm going to introduce to you the concept of role rotation and the reason why me and Felipe travel around the world teaching it. Now, if you are a dancer that was taught to just lead or to just follow, also stay until the end of this video because this concept might maybe, just maybe, change your opinion about what you can and cannot do in social dances. Let's go! I'm Tiago and together with my boyfriend and dance partner Felipe we created the concept of role rotation where we rotate the roles when we dance. Mainly known for teaching bachata we travel the world with our goal of inspiring everybody to try both leading and following in all social dances. So as you know in social dances we always have the leader, the one who leads the move, and the follower, the one who follows and responds to the move. Nowadays we still have a lot of people thinking those two are divided by gender. They says they think men tend to be the leaders and women tend to be the followers, but in fact, social dance has nothing to do with gender or sexuality. So if you are one of those dancers who learned that a man has to be the leader and a woman has to be the follower, and you still haven't learned that this is completely false, let me show you some videos that will change your mind about this. Okay, so let me go here on YouTube and so this is me with an amazing person I had a chance, you can know her from Tiago and Fee. So as you can see here, it's a girl leading a guy and this was through a festival where we taught the class, we actually did what we are going to teach and talk about today, role rotation, but it's just again to prove you that there are amazing girls, uh, leaders. On this second video, for example, we can see Raza. So Raza is a dancer. She teaches in the UK. Uh, well, I met her in the UK. And as you can see in this video, we see a salsa. And it's a girl leading another girl. Again, she's teaching a class. And there's nothing related to gender. It's one leader and one follower. Now, if we go to my last video, let me just stop here. Go to my last video. Here, this is actually West Coast Swing. And this is one of my favorite uh, dancers, one of my biggest inspirations, especially when I was younger. Uh, the guy with the square shirt, he's basically following in this video, this is West Coast. And it's two guys dancing, again, independent, on, uh, there is nothing related to gender. And yeah, so again, this is just to prove you guys that the leader doesn't have to be a man and the girl doesn't have to be the follower. You can dance between two guys, two girls, um, a guy and a girl where the girl is the leader, the guy is the follower, it doesn't really matter. As you can see, all around the world there are men followers and also women leaders. Now let's go back to the concept of role rotation. What is almost universal, and is agree with me if you must, is that social dances is basically having a conversation with another person, without the use of actual words. I mean, all dances really are a form of conversation. However, while in hip hop or in ballet, it feels more like they are telling us a story or they are expressing themselves through the movement. In social dances, however, it's more like an actual conversation between two people responding to each other. And like me, a lot of people also see the roles in social dances as the leader is like asking a question and the follower is answering it. Let's see this example. So in this video we have Diogo and Sara from Portugal, they are a couple from Portugal, beautiful. And basically we want to focus on that turn they just saw. Let, let me go back. So here we go. She, she goes, body roll, side body roll, reverse that roll. Okay, here we go now. They are preparing and they go for basic and turn. Look how she does the turn, this turn. She doesn't put much emphasis on her body, but she puts the emphasis on her arm going on the back. So basically, he's asking a question, and it was the way she did it. But now, if you ask Angelica here, look exactly the same move and turn. Nothing on the arms, but everything on the body. So Angelica, I met her in, Amer in America, sorry, no, in the UK. She's a beautiful dancer, one of the best dance I've ever seen in the whole world. She also can lead. She's Incredible. But what I want to see is the same question, so the leader asks the same question, a basic term, and they are answering completely different. Angelica is doing more the shoulder, and then Sarah, as you can see here, is putting more 
the arm. So same move, different answers to same move. And that is what's beautiful about dancing, right? It's actually a conversation. Now here comes the issue. For us, if during the entire dance there is only one leader and only one follower, that those people are actually not having a conversation. They are actually having a more like an interrogation really, because only one is asking the questions and only one is answering them. So the only leader is basically interrogating the only follower. So what is role rotation? Row rotation is basically the action of rotating roles mid-dance, so the leader now starts also answering the questions by becoming the new follower, and the follower gets the opportunity to start asking the questions by becoming the leader. It's basically, it's basically having the opportunity to swap roles whenever you wish or desire throughout the whole song, making a dance way more dynamic and interesting. Let's see an example here when me and Felipe swap roles all the time. Okay, let's go here quick to our YouTube. Uh, which video should I pick? Oh, let's go with the Vienna one. Here we go. So here, as you can see, Felipe is leading. Okay, you can see it right here. He's leading all my body, doing the body rolls, all the waves. And then basically we start dancing, he's still leading. And now I swap the leading, see? And now I am the one leading, Felipe is following. By the way, here on the bottom, in every single video of us dancing, you can see this per chapter, so he made this per chapter, so it's easy for you to go check it out who's leading and following. And now as you can see, he is leading again. So I'll put it again, the hands go there, and now he takes the tension because I gave him the, the idea that I wanted to follow by putting his hands there, and now he is basically leading. A little bit going forward, see now I'm the one stealing, and I stole again the leading, so we swap again, I'm just going a bit forward, and as you can see we swap, go and go with our one dance. Now before we continue, let me just stop here and ask you to let us know in the comments below if you already dance both roles, and also, or if you are learning, and also which style you are dancing both roles to. Because me and Felipe love to meet new people that like us already found the importance and also the fun of doing both. So why do we travel teaching this all around the world and recommending dancers to dance this way One thing is one thing that you might be thinking and wondering right now. Now we start teaching this to our students, obviously, like everything, and we realize that a lot of the problems that exist in the dance community completely disappear. There has now been too many girls in the classes, no one has to wait in the same class, they all become smoother dancers because now they understand what it is like to be on the other side, the frustration of not being able to do the combos that we are trying to teach completely disappears because by understanding that it's hard to be on the other side, they end up helping each other instead of blaming. And in the end, it's so much more creative and fun because you have way more possibilities than if you are just doing leading and following throughout the entire song. But let's be honest, those of you that already know how to do both, spending the all night class or dance Doing just one can be boring. And also, just a quick secret, the best dancers they are not just good in shows but also in socials, they also do both, and they end up just posting videos of one role because it's the role they are more comfortable in. And that's fine. Now, before we finish this video, let me just say one very important thing. We did not create the action of swapping roles mid-dance. There are old videos from people doing it years ago, and I mean, I was already doing this in ballroom when I was 13 years old. And in some dance styles, like West Coast Swing, for example, is way more common than in other dances, like Latin dances, such as bachata or salsa. But we decided to create the concept of row rotation, we created the name for it, since there was none. And to bring it to the professional world is what we are doing it, and teaching it, and develop it, because we believe it's the quickest way to make it mainstream. Now, if you want to know more about row rotation or the benefits of it, or you're just trying to improve your leading and following, and also styling, which we talk a lot, then subscribe to our channel, because we are now posting videos every week, finally, and the next one is exactly on how to actually do row rotation. I'm Tiago and I already do row rotation. Do you? <laughs>